If you live in the Netherlands, you probably know this pain. You order something online, get a tracking number, and then your package decides to play hide and seek. Thousands of customers contact Postenel every single day asking the same few questions. Where is my package? Why does the tracking link say it's in transit for the last three days? And why is my neighbor suddenly holding my new iPhone hostage? Now, imagine being a support agent, answering those same questions hundreds of times a day. It's exhausting, repetitive and expensive. Postenel knew something had to change. But instead of just hiring more people or outsourcing call centers, they asked a smarter question. What if AI could help us answer the easy stuff so our people can focus on the hard stuff? Welcome to Secrets at Work, where we talk about the things nobody really teaches you about technology, leadership, project management, and sometimes even postal services. Because let's be honest. Most of what we read about AI sounds either terrifying or overhyped. But somewhere in between those extremes, there are stories like this one. Real teams solving real problems, quietly making work better. So before you start thinking AI in a postal company, stay with me. This one is different. It's not about replacing humans or chasing hype. It's about using smart tech to fix everyday chaos. All right. Let's dive into how Postenal created its own AI assistant, one that actually delivers. Enter Super Tracy. It sounds like a superhero name, and honestly, it kind of is. Super Tracy is Postenal's in house generative AI assistant. It's trained on parcel data, delivery logs, and customer FAQs basically, everything the company knows about your package. Think of it as ChatGPT, but it actually knows where your box of shoes is. They didn't go and just buy an off-the-shelf chatbot. They built a custom solution using multi-agent LLM architecture and Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. In plain English, the AI doesn't just guess. It searches PostNL's own data first, finds the most relevant info, then crafts a natural-sounding reply. So, for example, if you ask, hey, why is my delivery late? It can look up your parcel history and say something like, your package was delayed due to heavy rain in Amsterdam. It's now out for delivery and should arrive before 5 p.m. Sounds human, feels helpful, and no chaos. So, what made this project work when so many others failed? First, clarity. They started with one specific use case, track and trace communication. No, let's transform everything madness. Just one painful bottleneck. Second, humans stayed in the loop. The AI could draft responses, but people reviewed and refined them. That kept accuracy high and trust intact. Third, data quality. They used their own data, not public internet stuff full of random Reddit posts. That means fewer hallucinations and more relevance. And finally, incremental rollout. They didn't launch to a million users overnight. They tested an MVP internally, collected feedback, and scaled once it proved reliable. It is that classical Dutch approach. Practical, very careful, and grounded. In project management language, this was textbook, start small, scale smart. So did it actually work? Absolutely. PostNL reported measurable improvements in response time and accuracy. Customers got faster answers, and support teams finally had breathing room to handle complex issues. No scandals, no viral failures, no refund nightmares. The AI didn't replace people, it freed them. Imagine your average support agent spending less time typing tracking numbers and more time solving exceptions or handling emotional customers. That is the real magic. AI amplified humans instead of replacing them. It also improved consistency. Same tone, same information, 24 hours a day. That's impossible to maintain with large human teams alone. The post and story proves something we often forget in the AI hype cycle. AI doesn't fail because of technology. 
it fails because of management. If you choose the wrong problem, dump bad data, ignore change management, no AI model will save you. But if you align the right people, right data and a clear purpose, AI becomes an incredible tool for efficiency and customer happiness. I love this example because it's not flashy. It's not some moonshot from Google or OpenAI. It's a postal company using AI to solve real problems. That is what digital transformation is supposed to look like. So next time someone tells you AI doesn't work, show them this video. Because when AI is built on solid management, it really can deliver, literally. If you enjoyed this story, check out my AI fail video next to see what happens when companies skip those lessons. And if you are new here, subscribe for more real-world stories about leadership, tech, project management, and the messy side of modern work. Nobody teaches us this stuff at school, but that's exactly why we are here. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you in the next one.